Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Celine Kaur. I'm part of the Customer Experience Group at SAP. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk through the end-to-end -end demo for Lumira Desktop. So the first option that we have uh, in Lumira Desktop to create visualizations is to acquire the data set. To acquire data set, uh, there are different data sources that are available within Lumira. You can either select a Microsoft Excel as a data source or um, text a file which is could be a CSV file then if you have your data copy to a clipboard then you can also create a data set and loom it out of that so then connection to HANA is also available in two forms uh, you can connect to a backend HANA system you can either connect to SAP HANA in a real-time mode by using the connect to SAP HANA option in this case the uh, data is fetched uh, from HANA views in real time the another option is offline connection to HANA, which is download from SAP HANA. This is not a real-time connection, but the HANA uh, Lumira actually downloads uh, the data from HANA views, um, and then you can do visualizations on them. Okay, so that's about the HANA connection, and then uh, you can also connect to a universe and download a data set in Lumira, and or you can run a freehand SQL query on a database uh, to download the data set. Another new option that is available is to connect to BW online system uh, and select your queries to create a data set. So if I go next, this is where I can select my BW system. The systems that I see in the drop down here are all maintained in my SAP GUI. I can give my client ID and credentials and then connect to my HANA system, uh, sorry, BW system. I can select my info area and then select the underlying query that I want to use uh, to create a data set, uh, to create a data set in Lumira. So for now, I will just cancel it because the data set that I'm going to use is based on an Excel sheet for an example in this tutorial. So um, I select the Microsoft Excel option and then I do next and I select my file that I want to consider as a data set. So this is a sample data of an Olymp of Olympic athletes. So I just consider that now there are a couple of options that we've added into this um, into this prompt here that uh, that you can select the you can select different sheets that you have in this Excel, and you can actually append data of all the sheets in the into this data set that you're creating in Lumira. And then even if your data is select is, uh, is in the Excel sheet, even if that is um, maintained as in a cross tab, you can still, still select it and create a data set out of it. But now my data is just as in a vertical tab. So, okay, now another option is that uh, you can select a custom range uh, out of your sheet and create your data set based on that. For now, I just select the default options. I select the whole sheet and I try to create a data set. So now the data set has been acquired and now my data is um, ready in, uh, in my prepare tab. So that is the first room that I come to in Lumira. And now in this room, I can do all kinds of different options with my data set to make it more perfect to create visualizations. So I can, I can, um, I can, if there is another data set that you want to consider uh, to create visualizations, you can upload it here from the new data set option. Or uh, you, what you can do is you can perform a, a merge or append to a different data set with a different data set. Here you can select the new data set with which you want to merge your current data set. Or you can, if you want to just append the current data set, you can do that from here as well. Combine as option. Uh, so these are the options that are available on that you can perform on your data set. If you want to view the different or uh, the unique values of your in your in your data set, uh, then you can choose to turn on the facets view instead of the grid view. For now, I will go back to my facets view, and uh, then what you can do is you can create a new calculated dimension or you can create a new calculated measure. These are the default measures and dimensions that Lumira has considered based on my data set. And then you can select a column and you can perform different, uh, different actions on your, on your data. Like you can duplicate this column, rename it, split it, remove it, or 
replace any values in this column so you can perform all these options on this uh, on the different columns that you have here just like an example I will show you for example I have age the age uh, which uh, shows the age of different athletes that I have in my data set so I can actually create a range um, of age for my athletes so I just select group by range I can select the create from uh, interval and from and to for age uh, for the range of age and I say OK and it actually creates a new uh, column with the age interval. So as you can see. So uh, that's what we have in the prepare tab. So you after once you are done with the, the different um, enriching options that you want to perform on your data set, then your data set is finally ready. And you can go now to the visualize tab to create visualizations based on your data set. So these are the different chart types that are available to create visualizations. Now, one of the new options that we have now is that of uh, suggested visualizations. Uh, to turn this option on, you go to preferences and then you can go to data sets and just select the option to display related visualization. Uh, what Lumira does is it will actually suggest you some visualizations that you can use uh, based on your data set. So these are just some suggestions that Lumira has for us. So I can either use these visualizations or I can just uh, just um, you know create any new visualization. Another option that I have available is that of influence analysis. I can select a measure and actually run analysis and Lumira uh, shows you the visualizations based on the most influential dimensions for this measure. So age by age interval, sport and closing ceremony day. So these are different most, this, these are the most influential um, factors or dimensions uh, for this measure. So I can consider any of these visualizations for my analysis or um, I can just go to the chart gallery uh, and just create a brand new visualization. So let's say I don't want to use this visualization. So I just create my own visualization, which is a column chart based on the total medals uh, for different countries. Now this shows me number of countries. So I will just filter it uh, by the top 10, the rank values. That shows me just the top 10 countries here. Uh, that is great. I also want to display the data labels. I do that. So, okay, so that is what we have now. And let me save this visualization. I save this visualization now. So once this visualization is saved, um, then I can also create another visualizations if you want. Um, you know, you can you can create another visualization, which is like a line chart. I can select total medals for um, for each sport, and then. I can add some filters on, let's say I want to add a filter on a country. I want to select United States. So I select it. And let's say I also want to select a filter on the sport. So I want to see the graph for, let's say, swimming. And let's say, um, so there are a couple of sports that I want to consider. So let's say I want to see the graph for these four games, sports. So this is what it is. So this is my another visualization. So I can just save it. And um, one more thing I would like to mention is that you can create a geographic or time hierarchies. For example, if you like you have a country here, you can create a geographic hierarchy here. You can select a geographic hierarchy map by names. And you can map uh, all the values up till, uh, you know, drill down till city. And you can create a geographic hierarchy. So you can just confirm it. There are some not found values, say all. So most of them have been resolved. And you can just create a geographic hierarchy. So you can create a map, select another visualization uh, for a map. 
and uh, then you can um, remove these filters and I can select the total medals and I can select the geographic hierarchy for country and this shows me uh, the values for total medals by country. So that's how you can use a geographic hierarchy. Similarly, you can create a hierarchy on year. And so that's how you can create a hierarchy in your visualizations. You save your visualization and now I can go to the compose room and compose my story. So to compose a story, you actually can select uh, your storyboard, different type of storyboard. I give a name to my story here and then you can either select a blank board uh, left right or uh, you know different types of interactive boards available and then you can also create infographics in your stories uh, or you can select a report type to create a story I select a board uh, blank board so now I can Okay, so here is my first visualization that I want to add here, metals by country. And now I can add a new storyboard here. Then I again get an option to add different types of storyboards. And I can... Now the second board has only top 10 countries. So I can add my second visualization here. Now my story is complete. I save my story. And uh, in this story, you, there are different options that you can do. You can do some page settings in which you can select your background color uh, for your stories. Or uh, you, can, uh, you can also add any text if you want to your story. You can select a simple text. And let's say you want to add something here or a title you can add different types of text and or you can add picture uh, to your story so these are different options that your uh, to your storyboard so that you can do to your storyboard so your once your story is complete you save it and then you can go to the share option to share your story and data set so now there are different options uh, you can publish it to Illumira cloud you can publish it to Illumira server or to bi uh, platform you can go to preferences and then you can select your uh, network and this is where you mention or maintain all the URLs for your server, Lumira Cloud and BI platform. For this demo, I will publish it to a Lumira Cloud. So you can log in with your cloud credentials or you can also set up uh, SSO here if you want and you can create new item you can publish your stories so once your stories are published you can go to your Lumira cloud and you can log on to your Lumira cloud So once you log on to Lumira Cloud, if you see your data set and stories published. Now if you go to see the story, if I open the story, I have the same storyboards that I created. This is my geographic hierarchy that I created, the map. And uh, then the second storyboard is my, um, has, talks about top, top, uh, top 10 countries. Now, um, this is my story. If I, there is something that I want to add, I can do it by editing my story and just save it, saving it. So the same, uh, when I edit it, the same visualization is also available in Lumira Cloud and it is also available in Lumira Server. I can change a chart type and save my new story. Now, uh, I can share this story on a public portal by changing the access to public and just uh, you sharing this URL or I can invite my team or send this URL to my team. So uh, there are a couple of different options that are also available in Lumira Cloud that you can perform on your story. So uh, once you are done with this, you can go back and save your story and data set is available in Lumira Cloud. Now, uh, one more option that is available in Lumira Desktop is that you can also um, uh, combine Esri Maps, you need to have uh, a login account 
to your Esri uh, website and then you can provide your credentials in your Esri account and then you when you go to the Visualize tab, you can actually see uh, uh, an Esri map option and you can create uh, maps, uh, interactive maps in your uh, Lumera visualizations. So um, those are some of the options that are available in Lumera, uh, Lumera desktop. You can integrate it with BI, like I talked. You can integrate it also. Uh, you can share the UI on a Fury Launchpad and uh, access your Lumira story from there. So that's all uh, basically that I have and that's how you can uh, share a very interactive Lumira stories on different platforms. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.